Greetings tech and gaming fans, Edge Runners is back with the latest updates you don't want to miss. In today's episode, MSI's new latency killer feature restoring Ryzen memory performance, Remedy's plans for Control 2, and AMD's next-gen UDNA architecture combining gaming and AI capabilities. In addition, we'll look at Krafton's Inzoi, a life simulator aiming for realism, and more. Prepare a cup of your favorite tea, settle in, and let's kick things off. MSI has released a BIOS update introducing the latency killer feature for the X870E motherboard series. This functionality is designed to counteract the increased memory latency seen after AMD's Agesa 1.20.2, a firmware update. Tests conducted using ADA64 show a reduction in latency by 8 nanoseconds on a system equipped with a Ryzen 9 800X3D processor and DDR5 8000 memory. This brings latency levels back to pre-update performance. While this doesn't increase performance beyond earlier levels, it highlights MSI's commitment to ensuring optimal hardware behavior. Currently, Latency Killer is exclusive to X870E motherboards, but there's speculation it could roll out to other models depending on user feedback. Do you think MSI's Latency Killer feature should expand to more motherboards, or is it fine staying exclusive to the X870E series? Let us know in the comments. Moving to gaming, Remedy Entertainment has shared updates on their latest game, Alan Wake 2, which has sold 1.8 million copies since its release. While critically acclaimed, the sales numbers fall short of covering development and marketing costs, raising concerns about its profitability. In contrast, the studio is focusing on Control 2, the sequel to their 2019 hit. With a $50 million budget, Remedy aims for sales of at least 3 to 4 million units. The sequel promises RPG elements and an expanded narrative, aiming to build on its predecessor's success while appealing to a broader audience. Expect more details on Control 2 as development progresses. AMD is reportedly rebranding its graphics architecture for the next generation. Instead of RDNA 5, the company is introducing Unified DNA. This architecture integrates strengths from both RDNA, optimized for gaming, and CDNA, specialized for AI workloads. The goal is to deliver a universal platform for desktop GPUs, AI accelerators, and next-generation console APUs like the PlayStation 6. UDNA GPUs are expected to provide a 25% improvement in performance per watt over RDNA 4 and will debut in products like the Radeon RX 9000 series and MI400 accelerators. Mass production is planned for the second quarter of 2026, with market availability in late 2026. In recent weeks, complaints have emerged regarding the quality of LGA sockets used in motherboards for AMD and Intel processors. Retailers in Japan report increased returns due to bent pins, often found in brand new boards straight from the factory. The issue affects at least four manufacturers and appears to stem from defects in the socket manufacturing process rather than the motherboard assembly. Manufacturers have responded by offering free repairs or replacements, signaling acknowledgement of the issue. Builders are advised to inspect sockets carefully during installation to avoid avoid damaging processors. Intel's next-generation Arc Battlemage desktop GPUs are generating buzz, with multiple sources suggesting an imminent announcement. According to Insider Golden Pig Upgrade, Intel may unveil the Battlemage GPUs in December 2024. This claim was echoed by Goroski T, a known leaker, who hinted that the presentation is likely scheduled for the same month. The report has garnered attention from reputable tech outlets, including video cards, which highlights Goroski T's history of accurate Intel-related leaks, such as transport declarations for unreleased products. If if these rumors are true, Intel's decision to present its new GPUs before CES 2025 could be strategic, allowing the company to avoid being overshadowed by the flood of announcements during the major tech event in January. The Battlemage GPUs are expected to represent a significant step forward for Intel in the competitive GPU market. While specific details about their architecture, performance or pricing remain under wraps, industry speculation suggests improvements in efficiency and gaming capabilities compared to the Arc Alchemist series. If Intel successfully positions the Battlemage series, it could strengthen its foothold in a market currently dominated by Nvidia and AMD. What are your expectations for Intel's Battlemage GPUs? More power, better efficiency, or competitive pricing? Share your thoughts in the comments. Nvidia's Blackwell GPUs are facing overheating issues in high-density server racks, where up to 72 GPUs consume 120 kilowatts of power per rack. This excessive heat generation has forced Nvidia to redesign its NVL72 server racks. These modifications aim to improve airflow and thermal dissipation, but they have caused delays in shipments. Major partners like Google and Microsoft are reportedly concerned about the potential impact on their data center rollouts, as these GPUs are crucial for training advanced AI models. Nvidia has stated 
stated that these delays are part of the usual development cycle, but this is the second issue reported for Blackwell GPUs in recent months. Apple's M4 Max chip is making waves in the GPU market. According to Blender's benchmark database, the M4 Max scored an average of 5,208 points across 28 graphic tests, surpassing desktop GPUs like the RTX 4070 and RTX 3080 Ti, which scored 5,185 and 5,125 points, respectively. However, the mobile version of the RTX 4090 still leads by about 30% in graphical performance over the M4 Max. Nvidia's flagship RTX 4090 the current leader, achieves nearly 11,000 points in the same benchmark. Rumors suggest that the upcoming M4 Ultra, which combines two M4 Max chips, could challenge Nvidia's flagship or even set a new Blender performance record. Krafton has unveiled a 30-minute gameplay showcase of its life simulator, Inzoi, during G-Star 2024. The video highlights exploration in a vast open world with the ability to switch between first-person and third-person perspectives. Viewers can appreciate the detailed character models, environments and structures, all of which look impressive. Described as a spiritual successor to The Sims, Inzoi distinguishes itself with ultra-realistic graphics powered by Unreal Engine 5. The game is set to launch on March 28, 2025, in early access. The developers have yet to announce a release date for the final version. Nvidia is planning to continue the production of the laptop GeForce RTX 4050 even after the release of its successor, the GeForce RTX 5050, based on the Blackwell architecture. According to reports, Nvidia will position the RTX 5050 as a more premium option in the 3D accelerator market, while the RTX 4050 will remain as the most affordable choice for budget gaming laptops. Despite minimal performance improvements over the RTX 4050, Nvidia aims to sell the RTX 5050 at a higher price point. This pricing strategy appears to be part of NVIDIA's plan to increase revenue by raising the purchase cost of the RTX 5050 compared to its predecessor. This decision to keep the RTX 4050 in production alongside the new 5050 model reflects NVIDIA's strategy of offering a broader range of options in the mobile GPU market. What are your thoughts on this approach? Share your opinion in the comments. Samsung Electronics has adjusted its production capabilities, leading to a significant reduction in MLC NAND supply. Suppliers report that the South Korean tech giant will stop producing and selling MLC NAND on the spot market starting in late 2024. The company is also expected to undergo major personnel changes that will impact its production processes, resulting in a reduction in the output of medium and low-capacity MLC chips. While Samsung has not issued an official announcement about halting production, it has already informed its clients of these plans. According to sources, the current stock of MLC chips is expected to last for about two years. Digitimes estimates that SLC currently accounts for less than 1% of global flash memory shipments, while MLC shipments are around 1.3 to 1.5% this year. Samsung's move away from this standard could lead to higher prices for certain SSDs and flash drives. Thanks for watching our latest gaming and tech roundup. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest updates. What are your expectations for Intel's Battle Mage GPUs? More power, better efficiency, or competitive pricing? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.